hey guys welcome back to our channel so i hope you guys are doing well on this beautiful friday well it's not gonna be uploaded on friday but for us today is friday july what night yeah july or 9th. it might it might, it be. might, it might, it might be. be let's see we'll see editor <laughs> we will see um but i was gonna tell you guys as you can see we have a new scenery we're in our living room it's so, not even living room dining room dining room dining so room. you know what that means what that means a little girl talk mukbang for you guys mm -hmm. so you guys are asking what are you guys gonna eat what do you want to eat so please tell me what is this she was she was a little surprised with today she had ordered some food so what, what did you order it's vegan so, friendly Yes, yeah, vegan friendly. This place is called Bobby's Plant Based Burgers. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's on M Street. If you guys remember to see, this is from M Street. And we got like these biscuit, like chick, well, vegan chicken sandwiches and some onion rings. I was being fatty to you guys. And look how cute these packaging are. Like, these are fire. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Like, if I had a restaurant, baby, this would be my packaging. Pink, a little cute box, cute turquoise, little stickers. Bobby's, y'all did amazing with this packaging. You know, and then some onion rings with the I think it says like organic ketchup and like a vegan yum yum sauce. Mm. And I love me some yum yum sauce literally for sushi, for when you get like the little what's it called, the little hibachi spot. So I know this is gonna be torch. And we've had like a sandwich before from there, right? Yeah, it was the buffalo spicy one that I put on my Instagram. So torch. follow us on Instagram and then we'll get started. We're actually gonna do a girl talk. Mm -hmm. We mentioned that, right? Mm -hmm. but yeah, stay on tune and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and you know, share this. Share this little video. We're ready to dig in almost. We're ready. Shit. So, oh, this girl good. talk, we have no direction where it's gonna go. We're just gonna talk about different topics. And yeah, let's get in, you guys. I'm ready to crush because it is 12 30 in the evening, and I just finished with my work stuff. Well, I gotta go back and forth, but I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. mm. So, what do you wanna talk about first to see? What should we talk about first? Hmm. Mm. Building confidence yeah okay building confidence that's a good one <laughs> yeah so building confidence and like how um you know like how to build that confidence um i would definitely say this like, tastes like a fucking like chick-fil-a Ooh, see like like kind of mm. it tastes really good i think this right. is better than the buffalo one wow this is fire so good it does me spicy as hell though no? It's spicy though. Can I get that? Napkin? Mm hmm. That is spicy though. It's supposed to be hot, hot, hot. Mm hmm. Jesus Christ. No. So you might get some onion rings. So yeah, building confidence and like, you know, I feel like we are a good level of confidence. Confidence. Like, yeah. to the max though, because I'm still not where I want to be at. Like, regarding to my body, like, Jesus Christ, I still need so much to lose and just to feel more confident. Uh, confident. But what I say, I did build confidence for sure. Like, from me. Three years ago, baby, there's a different body now. Yeah. Literally, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, you know how I said in the recent videos, just like really focusing on yourself, meaning like eating healthier. Because, baby, I used to love Krispy Kremes. And you know that? Hella carbs, right? Hella carbs. I feel like just working out a lot and really focusing on yourself, trying to see any healthy lifestyles. Um, self care is important you know i feel yeah. like you know we just have so much in our lives going on and you guys too working school doing other things maybe like you guys have your own businesses and stuff like that just really focusing on self care and self care doesn't mean like wasting money all the time it can definitely be like reading a book that can improve your yourself yeah and like the way you think and things like that but just like building that confidence like that i feel like self care is important building that confidence yeah. Yeah. and working out making yourself look good feel good Cause working out makes you feel good internally, externally, everything, mentally, physically, emotionally. How much is this? I feel like that's a big one mm -hmm. for me. So, like, and wearing whatever the hell you want, even if yeah. you're plus size, you are yeah. think mommy. You know, wearing whatever the hell you want. Shit, just yeah. because you see skinny girls wearing that joint, fuck it. I wasn't always confident. We both weren't always like confident, and no. we always have room to grow that confidence and to grow in any aspect of life. But when it comes to confidence. I feel like people can really see through that. Like, I used to have hella acne, and I still do. But before then, you could tell that I wasn't really confident. And you, the way you present yourself, other people are going to look at that. Mm -hmm. So I would say, just own your insecurities. And I know Literally. that's easier said than done, or to act upon it. But it's like, I used to see girls with hella acne, and it's like, they were still beautiful. Like, you could still tell that they were beautiful. Like, their whole features and stuff like that. And I'm like, damn, like, if I had that confidence, like, 
you'll just feel like you don't even have acne and stuff like that. Yeah. I think like with skincare stuff, like that really helps you along the way. But also knowing your worth, doing things that doing things that you really love to do, like really helps you in the long run mm. with being confident. And how do you expect to love your? How do you expect someone else to love you, or are you receiving all that attention, or are you receiving whatever you want to receive? If you don't love yourself, you know what I mean? Like, I truly believe in if you don't love yourself, how do you expect someone else to love you, right? And I think a lot of people don't want to hear that because that's the honest truth. Yeah, I feel like you have to love yourself before you allow someone else to love you because it's like then you're pouring that insecurities to that's the other people. person, mm -hmm. that baggage. Do the things that you love to do, own your insecurities. And feel beautiful because like we're all unique in our own way. You yeah. Know what I mean? And then I will also say like surround your people. No, surround yourself with people that will build onto that confidence. Cause there's people out there that will literally belittle you because of your how you look, your weight, all that kind of stuff. So definitely yeah, just... be aware. Freeze, girl. Free, free. <laughs> I she mean, so that, I mean, like just be aware of like your surroundings because I feel like in the past I was like with people that I actually did like. Then like you're you're like you like you're not human, but I'm just like like thick and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But like not in a good way right now, you know, slim thick or thick I is like know. good, you know, like yes, baby. But yeah. like back then, like I would think that as a bad thing and like I mean they would presume it as bad because they would say like, Oh, it doesn't look good, like it doesn't look better, like on someone slimmer, you'll look good if you're skinny, like yeah. I understand, like you know. But like that would definitely bring me down, you know, like oh damn, like I should starve myself and things like that. Yeah. So or like do water fasting and things like that. So yeah, definitely be aware of who you're around because that can definitely, definitely make you feel drained and like definitely, um, damn, it's how many times I definitely know. But yeah, like definitely, <laughs> so, you know, but, yeah, like just be aware of that and <laughs> exclude yourself from that part A or exclude yourself from those people because they are not good for you. And I feel like also like if you're not confident and most of the time people are not confident because of the way they look. Yeah. So like if it's like because of your body, yeah. like I would say like start hitting the gym. And I know going to the gym is like so hard. Like for me, it's hard least, for us, like, Jesus Christ. It's hard for us. Like we would go and then it's about being consistent with everything in life. And like the thing is if you're not doing anything consistent, like you won't really see an effect. See the but, result. Yeah, see the result. And um but the good thing is to just start. And I would say maybe you can't afford to get a gym, gym membership because I know sometimes we can't afford things. Sometimes we have other bills to pay and adding that one membership, you can't you can't do it, right? Let's say that that's your case. You could always go online on YouTube. YouTube is everything now. Like YouTube, you could literally. literally search up Zumba classes and do it at home. And there's really like no excuse. And like I think like the main thing stopping us from anything in life is ourselves, you know? Yeah. Because like you said, you're going to have negativity. You're going to have people that shame you. Like, Big And the thing is, will you let that get to you, you know? And why are they shaming you, you know? Because you have that power to be whatever you want to be and do what you want to do, achieve what like, you want to achieve. Like, baby, are you Kim Kardashian or what in the hell? Mm -hmm. Check you, baby. Check you. Don't be checking me. I'm going to trap you. <laughs> don't be checking me out here in the trenches of him uh -uh. focus on you boom don't be kind of about me so if it's if it's upon like how you look and stuff like that like that's all fixable like you go to the gym you know do your hair if you don't feel like you like like you know i'm change. not saying change who you are but if that makes you happier that makes you more confident if dyeing your hair like or going to the gym like do the stuff that you love and i'm sure that'll make you feel happier yeah more confident in yourself and like Claudia said, surround yourself with that good environment of friends because of that, who you surround yourself is kind of a reflection of who you are. Oh, big time. Mm -hmm. I believe that. I believe that truly. But um, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, it's a learning process. It's a journey. You're not gonna hit it overnight. Um, like I said, we're it's confident. Long term, li literally. Yeah, we're confident, but we're not confident to the max. We still, both of us, have insecurities, and it's like. Will you ever not have insecurities? I mean, like, you have to embrace the learn to love your insecurities. Yeah. I think I could even get a BBL, and I think there will always be, like, an insecurity. Shit, literally. Like, it, and insecurities can be internally, externally, like, you know what I mean? Anything, so, like, literally. At the end of the day, it's like, nobody's perfect, so we're bound to have insecurities, and it's okay. Like, we need to normalize Listen, having man. insecurities, mm -hmm. like, for dudes and women, but... Yeah, we just gotta yeah. enhance them, join that Yeah, that's it. What else can we do, right? Sure, like, literally. We're always gonna have an insecurity or something. Mm hmm. So, in relationships, men aren't 
there's like this societal um norm yeah that men shouldn't be sensitive or you know have insecurities or like be manlier than the a woman the right woman, to partner. have to have the pants all the time how do you feel about that i definitely feel like the the role well you're saying like if they can they can't be emotional things like that yeah stuff like that like it's just a societal norm where like if you are you're just like a simp or like you're you're a beta man like yeah. you're not alpha and you yeah. know obviously a lot of men want to be an alpha man mm -hmm. they want to take control and they want to be seen as a man yeah i feel like different girls have different likes like some guys i mean some girls love alpha men right mm -hmm. and some girls love simps <laughs> me <laughs> Sorry, <no. laughs> i mean i'm not like a mixture yeah. really i like a mixture you guys like both but don't be too alpha you'll be irritating because i've dated guys who are too alpha that throws me off so much but i feel like i'm also like an awful woman too in a relationship you know what i mean like i do take control sometimes not majority of the time but like sometimes like let's say one thing that this is gonna go all over the place but like i definitely hate when let's say on a first date or something like that or like just in the relationship where a guy asks you like where do you want to go eat like i like them to tell me where the hell we're gonna go sometimes like don't be questioning me all the time it's like please take me to friggin let's say rosa mexicana just like to just bring up a little example just take me don't always think that i'm gonna have somewhere like please take me somewhere and so have you, that already organized mm -hmm. so but like when i talk when i talk about like the emotions and stuff yeah i definitely like a guy to show me that he has those emotions yeah. i like him to show me like those emotions because how am i gonna know that he's feeling some type of way or just be emotional together that's what i really like for a guy to show me his emotions like it's okay to step out of the man box like when loic we will say that like, the man got the man box like what is a man box the man box is you're supposed to stay in a in a box like a society box right where you're not supposed to cry you're not supposed to show your emotions you have to be strong you have to be the provider it is okay sometimes huh Try some. oh, you don't oh yeah sometimes there's gonna be a time where the woman has to be the provider and the guy he's not working or something it can be situations like that so that's why it's saying it's okay to have those things or a guy can be a happy yeah, like stay at home like, that's what i mean stay yeah. at home dad so i feel like it's okay you know what i mean like it's okay for you to step out the man box show all those emotions cry in front of me cry in front of your parents and just be notified like no notify us like how you're feeling and things like that because other yeah. than that how am i gonna know communicate yeah. with me all these things mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's super important yeah i feel like me personally like like claudia said like we like a guy to be in control like be the man like and what i mean by be the man is just Wear the pants sometimes, make yeah. the decisions, be confident, um, know what you want. And usually that leads more to like an alpha man. And we love alpha man. I love alpha man, right? Yeah. But then I also think that it's also okay to be a beta. And it's yeah. okay for men to be a beta man. But I also feel like an alpha man can learn to also be sensitive. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of alpha men that are tough that you know know their decision know what they want they they think that it's not okay to mix both you can be alpha and have beta um characteristics mm -hmm. you can be sensitive and i feel like a lot of men need to learn how to be more sensitive That's how to true. express their emotions um and it's really hard in this generation now because Ooh. love is just it's it's hard it's really hard to find someone that can express it but also be alpha um but yeah and then also when you have beta man a lot of girls think oh he's like a simp and mm -hmm. they take advantage of that and i think that going back to the question i feel like guys should learn more how to express that and um just learn how to not have that protective layer and i know it's hard sometimes because sometimes you just you wear that layer so you won't get hurt and stuff like that but yeah. i think that men should know how to express themselves more um or don't be scared to show those emotions you know what i mean mm -hmm. right and break that wall so another question too that i think we should talk about a lot is when is it when is it too soon and is there a actual good thing or not good thing but is there an actual way too soon you know in a relationship if you like for what like to get married and stuff yeah like with anything like is there like a timeline like should you just talk to someone for a few like 
six months and then get into a relationship. Good one, yeah. what, what do you think? Because I know my perspective has definitely changed to 360. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes I'm still kind of holding on to it, but I, I'm i learning that there's no really like, no timeline, honestly, because, right? Like, you could go ahead and answer the question because I'd asked it and then I'll just. Okay. Yeah. I feel like there's no timeline because when you're feeling someone, you can literally, let's say, at first I was like, oh, I'm going to talk to this person for like a year. And then, you know, he asked me out. Yeah. But as time, you know, time goes on. You get older. You definitely, it changes. For me, I definitely feel like I just feel like I'm not feeling a person. And, like, I don't see no red flags. I can, I can still, let me see, like four months, five months. I feel like with the with the person I'm with right now, like it took how long? Like five months, right? Four or five months around there, around that time frame. And it's good, but I didn't see no red flags to not continue it because I do definitely see. I feel like the two, three dates, um, I see if there's any red flags in there, so I stop it. But definitely, like, um, you know, it's just, I feel like there's no time frame to be honest because everybody falls in love differently. We're talking about falling in love and all this kind of thing, right? Falling in love differently in a different time frame. Um, and just like becoming, you know, a couple together is great. I think, I think you make a good point because I feel like, um, you can meet, you could have known somebody for two months and then meet someone in two weeks and it's like a different whole vibe. A different connection. A different I don't connection. Really guess. Like, I don't because know, like, I, I, I kid you not, I've known so many people and like a bunch of different relationships and they were for, they were within that relationship for like years. Yeah. But... I would see like that person with somebody else that they're probably like interested in mm -hmm. and they've known them for a short amount of time and you don't see that same connection so it's like i really personally don't think that how long you've known somebody truly shows the connection that you oh. have mm -hmm. because you can meet someone else for two weeks that has better intentions than you than you know someone for two months two years or a longer time and i feel like with that being said can i get an option? yeah I'm just like doing some like, It's so bit, hot I'm because so this shit is spicy, but it's good. It's so spicy, guys. Like Jesus Christ, but it's so good. But it has like pickles, like Chick Fil A one, yeah. so that's really really good. Yeah. Um, but I think that there's no timeline. There really is there's no timeline, not. and and even like sometimes people because you're rushing to a relationship, something some people would definitely judge you on that. Um, definitely. But Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, we might just keep this in, but it's not, it's not even that, like, <laughs> we, when it comes to me and my sis, I don't know if we're going to end up posting this when I'm editing it, because I'm putting myself out there, but it's okay, because I know there's a lot of people like us, like, for me, it's just, it's really scary, because, you know, us girls, we deal through, and we go through so many experiences, whether that's oh, with yeah. fuck boys, or it's get taken advantage of, and Literally. it's just, for me, I definitely have this layer where I'm also protective upon myself. I'm protecting my, what would you call it? Like protecting my inner peace and all that good stuff mm -hmm. because Literally, it's yeah. so easy for someone to get to damage hurt, you, right? To oh, da yeah, to yeah. damage you too in a yeah, relationship. Literally. I mean, in this generation, there's so many people that get cheated on and they go back out with that significant other, like yeah. nothing ever happened. And it's just like, and I see it everywhere. I see everywhere. it with people that are 30, people that are 18, people that are 20, people that are 40. It's like, for me, it's the scary part is like, I will always remember this phrase, once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't, people can bash me on this, I don't care or anything, but like, people are gonna say, oh, you can change a cheater, nah, son, don't give me that. If my man did it once or twice, what makes you think he'll do it again? Yeah. Have some respect, boo, like, what's going on? Like, I would always put that, because I've been cheated on, and, you know, he came yeah. back, but, Baby, no, it's easier said than done, but no, I feel like you can. Damn, bro, like, what's that? These actors, I'm sorry, like, imagine, imagine, but like, oh my god, like, like, nobody is that good. If you if you go back out with the cheater, I mean, well, what do you want to try something else, girls? Like, come on now, let, let's get to the spicy, let's get to the spicy let's stuff, to the, you know, oh my god, just like, like, honestly, oh my like, god, super toxic. Like, I don't, I don't understand judge anyone who goes back with someone who's a cheater, but it's like. There's so many people in the world, and it's like, why wouldn't you want to try the flavors? So like, many you know what I mean? So many drinks, maybe like, so many everything. Is it is the dick too good? Like, is it that good? Right? Like, and I it. feel like that goes that that just. But look, look I understand and, where they're coming from too. At the same time, because like they have history, they don't want to start yeah. over with a person. 
but then you are damaging yourself because I feel like if me personally, it's talking about Claudia Blanco right now, if I went through that again with the person who cheated on me, I will first have no freaking trust on you, like with you, no trust at all. Like don't play with me. Second, like I would definitely go psycho mode, meaning oh, psycho, I, mode. psycho mode, psycho mode, meaning like I would definitely be checking in on you like uh, multiple times. And it will make you become toxic. It because would definitely it's so do. easy for you to because then toxic. it can damage you. And then, like, let's say if you go into a new relationship, you will have those things too. I feel like for me, when I went into a new relationship, I had that, you know what I mean, which is really bad. But then, like, you know, the person was great, so like, it was good. But like, other than that, like, it just messes you up mentally. And I feel like it definitely brought my self esteem really low because, you know, like, how can you cheat with this? Like, you got all this. And I know, like, like, <laughs> said, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, you have a good person in front of you and, like, giving you everything that you want, even more, you know, yeah. literally everything. So, like, it definitely brings my, well, it brought my self-esteem down to yeah. the max, to be honest. And I feel like, like you said, like, it's it's so easy to say, why don't you get out the relationship like, if you're getting cheated on? Because, yeah. again, people will say, you're not in my shoes. You know, you, you can't. Like, I, I hate, hate that, that too. Hate and that I used to love it too. And it used to make me feel some type of way because a lot of people they would tell me their stories and they're like, you know, you're not you're not in my shoes. You wouldn't understand. But it's like, bitch, like I could. I don't have to. I don't have to wear the shoe to see it doesn't fit. You know Literally. what I mean? Bridget, and we've been, like, we've been through relationship. We've been through toxicity. Yeah. And I've been cheated on, so I'm pretty sure. Like, what else new can there be? You know what I mean? Like cheated. Okay, you got okay. Like I'm very confused. You know yeah. what I mean? Like. We've gone through same situations in Miller. It's like maybe the first time, like maybe the second for people. But if you continuously let it happen, it's like now are you allowing your are you are you letting these things happen to you? Is it you that is allowing things to happen to you? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You have to question that too. Sometimes what happens to us is because we let it happen to us. Yeah. And we have control in that. And so I think with like everything that we'll be talking about in future girl talks it's like really knowing your worth it all comes to that yeah like being confident well you have to know your worth you have to know you know that you're unique mm -hmm. and like i said it's easier said than done like we're not at that full mass capacity where we want to be we might hit it when we're 60. i mean it, it really it really it depends on everybody has a different journey but it's like to get it started to get it going it's you have to know your worth, you know, it's in, in cases like this, it's like, no, like, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard about like people, like relationships where they have cheated and like your worth and stuff like that. Now, I mean, why does that happen? Because of temptations. So you want to talk a little bit about temptations? Yeah, so temptations, um, what is temptations? And <laughs> the urge to do something with someone or... You have to be physical so i feel like yeah <clears throat> and you can have some taste like you know you can think about it but to actually act upon it like you're a whole freaking grown ass man grown ass woman baby like if you don't have someone good like i, I think i had this conversation with um with, uh, remember that? Oh, oh yeah um, with my buski and him. we had this conversation and we're like you know like definitely if you feel like you have found your person there shouldn't be a temptation you know yeah like anything that you're tempted to do shit if y'all want to spice up the relationship and maybe like oh this is getting boring and things like that like talking about like the sex life the little shot netflix if you guys haven't watched it please watch it it is too good and very spicy very very it's R. really interesting very very are so don't be with your kids or nothing because there's me but um yes this person is good but like to like ask someone else there shouldn't be that like i feel like as a i feel like I've always been super loyal in relationships and like I don't be looking at other men like okay they look good and stuff like that but it's like i don't be like fantasizing or things like that like you have your person like if you guys want to spice things up and do some other different shit like literally mm -hmm. freak yeah that's a different conversation but like different things you know spice it up do this do this bring some whipped cream in or something like that oh my god <laughs> Dude. Be an ice cream shit. I don't know, but like if you literally like thinking about all oh, just that spice it up I don't know, but um Yeah, I feel like Temptation is a thing. It's really a thing and um You just don't have to act upon it. You can be tempted like oh my god yeah. But like to act upon it like that's just to mess up a whole relationship because of that to get some yeah. new cooch some new D Nah, I think that's true. I feel like A man's temptation is always a woman like a man weakness is gonna be a woman right yeah so it'll be 
I'd be lying to you to say that we all don't have hesitations, right? Um, spicy. And like, yes, yeah, like if you're loyal, like, and if you really love that person, you're not gonna act upon that temptation. No, but I'd be lying to you if we were to say that temptations aren't real. I feel like even when I was in a relationship, like there's so many people in the world so much beauty like i'd be lying to you say i didn't stare at someone like, said, like right there's no, not someone that's better looking remember like um there's what? always that there's someone that's always better looking smarter than you everything bro there's always a better of you all right sad to say it but there is there's someone who's skinnier than me there's someone who's funnier than me there's someone who's smarter than me there's someone you know you could go on there's a list, oh, a list because like like i said it's a continuous journey right even when you think you're at top you're not right there's always someone better financially everything right but yeah like you're not going to act upon that temptation if you love that person and you're loyal literally but if you were to ask if i stared at like other people oh, yeah. in a relationship i'll be honest with you yeah like i i love to admire other people beauty like when it comes to even women or to men like i love to see it you know and i think that i'd be lying to say that you know my eyes well, my eyes will be, because I'm still saying the lies. Wait, so my, eyes, remember, like, what is <laughs> my eyes will be for that oh one person when that one mm -hmm. person comes. Yeah. But it's like, you know, you could admire. That's why you have eyes. You could admire other beauty. You yeah, know, literally. like, you're not going to do anything. You could just think that they're cute. Like, they're, yeah. they're, they're attractive. The important thing here is you can have temptation, but just look while admire this person while he looking towards, right? Like them puppy. Mm -hmm. But don't act upon it, baby. Yeah. Act upon your baby boy. And I think, yeah, yeah. and I think if you really love someone, you're not going to act upon no. it. No. You're just going to be You're not going to have the know. urge to do it. You know you're what I mean? You're not. You're no. not. But mm -hmm. you're, if you want to take a glance and go ahead, you That's know? That's fine. Like, Chip. and I don't, I don't think I'd be that type of um, girl that would be extremely jealous if my guy did that too. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of girls don't really mm -hmm. necessarily like that, which is... It's understandable. Like, why are you looking at other people, right? If your eyes should be on me. But, like, if you're not acting upon it and you have trust and all that good stuff, there's nothing to worry about. <clears throat> but that I can also talk about, like, if you don't get jealous, like, that will be, like, a big sign of um, and the security, you know what I mean? I feel like in confidence, yeah. right? Yeah. Because then you don't feel yeah. secure and, like, shit. I'm like, you can look at this girl looking bad yeah. and shit, but I know what the hell I, I'm not, I am, you know what I mean? Girl, like, I'm yes. so just, I'm like, you gotta like, own your shit. You gotta yes. be like, I'm the, I'm a freaking badass yeah, yes, 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 all that yes, shit yes, like all the way because look for guys I would be jealous of shit I would be like like why are they staring at someone else like I would feel insecure like it, am I not good enough but like now it's like okay you could admire but you know what so can I watching people's energy is like if if that's what they're doing not saying that you're gonna do what they do but it's like you know I could do the same like you have to know your worth because then it won't affect you like okay like and like the confidence will show once you know your worth and you're you you know what you provide it's like that won't little things like that won't get to you you know and like yeah this is real like god has made it where where there's temptations for everybody there's temptations but it just relies on i mean it all depends on the person and they act upon it yeah because the temptation for women and men jesus christ so many yeah but it just all up on you you know what i mean so yeah that's when it comes to temptation everybody has temptations and you're lying to me that there's not but it's just yeah that it's on you if you're going to act upon it or not yeah and yeah. that's it simple as that baby everybody simple as that. Even if that's very depressing but it's reality there's going to be another girl talk um i feel like it's going to be long so we're going to save those topics for the next girl part talk two. part two part police two. suggest us what you want to see in the next video that'd be yeah, fun right yeah there, there's so, so many, many topics like we literally were like all over and we literally. try to connect every little thing that we we're talking about together but yeah if there's like a specific thing that you guys want to hear about and like our opinion about it um and like we said this is our opinion this is you know bad beat like i don't know how to, to explain it like because I, I know a lot of people probably won't agree with this but it's like Come on now, like what? What is there not to agree about? Literally, this? yeah. This is someone who knows their worth and to also encourage that as well. Yeah, everybody, like, you know what I mean. So, yeah, definitely, we can't wait for the next video as well. So before we leave, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back with another video, baby. So let's get it. We'll see you soon, baddies and hotties for my guys. So we'll be back with another video. So let's get it.